Sergeant Sean Chavez with the TUAS or Tactical Unmanned Aerial System Detachment 1 Delta of the 741 Brigade Engineer Battalion, 41st IBCT. Uh, we're all here as part of the Oregon Army National Guard down here in Camp Roberts, California to conduct the XCTC exercise, uh, which is a brigade level exercise to essentially test all of our skills in concert with one another. Uh, units typically drill in a individual capacity and so we're just trying to put all the pieces here together and make it all work. In the Army National Guard, I'm a MOS 15 Whiskey, which is a unmanned aerial systems operator. So we fly the unmanned aircraft. On the civilian side, I work as a security officer at a major metropolitan hospital in Portland, Oregon. So the training that we typically engage in on a drill weekend uh, back home in Oregon is going to be uh, just our unit working on flight operations and uh, mission training. The point of the XCTC exercise is to get all of those units together and have them integrate with one another and basically simulate what a mission would be like in theater. So we're supporting troops on the ground as they conduct their training lanes. Uh, there'll be infantry units reacting to contact and then we'll have the shadow UAS overhead providing support, whether that be for reconnaissance, calls for fire or overwatch. This exercise has provided the opportunity for us to work directly with the units that we would be supporting and working with in theater uh, as opposed to our normal operations where we're just working on flight operations uh, as a detachment. And so I've had a lot of face-to-face -face time with the collections and military intelligence personnel that we would be providing our uh, reconnaissance information to and basically getting an overall picture of how it all works together at the battalion and brigade level. Uh, for anybody who's interested in doing this job, either as a 15 Whiskey aircraft operator or a 15 Echo aircraft maintainer, uh, it requires uh, months of schooling at an MOS school in Fort Huachuca, Arizona. It's a very technical and high skilled position. Uh, it's a uh, very high demand and has a lot of job opportunities and prospects in the civilian world outside of the military. Uh, and you can expect to spend between three to six months going through school after basic training is complete. Uh, I specifically chose to enlist in the Oregon Army National Guard as opposed to the active duty army or the Army Reserve uh, because I felt that the Guard's mission to help my home state was really appealing to me, uh, not just in a military capacity with combat operations overseas, but also our state mission such as disaster relief, uh, anything to do with rescuing or uh, wildfire mission, all of that hometown focus really appealed to me. That's why I chose the Guard.